inside a mobile Doppler radar truck. This is what it looks like. Lots of uh, computers. This is where we store the data for research purposes. We have to keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't get too low. Oscilloscope. Transmitter controls. An emergency cutoff switch. This is the screen we use to just look at files. Getting very sensitive with the dew. And make sure it's all all our data is being stored. Sorry, now. This is where we look at the data coming in. The bottom, this is reflectivity, that's velocity. We can change them though. We have a navigating system, and the front of the truck is just a normal truck. Come outside. That's our dish. That green thing you see is a generator. Right now it's doing surveillance scans where it's going around, but it'll be doing RHIs in a minute when it, once it uh, spirals all the way up. The truck has to be perfectly level. That's why it's on these uh, stilts here. Uh, they uh, retract, of course, so we can drive away, but when we're planted at a spot, we want to keep the truck as level as possible. You can see the uh, elevation in that. The elevation angle is getting higher as the dish does its scanning. Uh, we have this thing to the north there that it's uh, gonna RHI scan in a minute. While we're waiting for that, let's take a look at this pod. This is a $5,000 piece of equipment and it weighs 120 pounds. So we can put that in the heart, uh, or, or in the direct path of tornadoes. This way, um, uh, human observers don't have to go in, and uh, its weight will prevent it from being picked up and thrown about. Just keep it on the ground. So, yeah, $5,000 piece of equipment right there. There's no way to uh, monitor the data live, but it all gets stored, and we can uh, look at it later. Okay, so now the dish is doing its 80 degree elevation scan, which is basically straight up. But in a minute, once this is done, you're going to see it go into RHI mode. And it's going to basically sample top to bottom of the clouds. And so there it goes. So you'll see now instead of spinning around and, and sort of spiraling up, it's going up and down. And right now when it gets to the top, it's going to change its azimuth angle. 